He loved everybody. I think he had a lot more to give to this world. Volunteer and just doing anything that he could, putting greatness out there in the world, positivity and love. He would always talk to the younger kids that were in the group, motivating them letting them know how special they were. Nicholas Stewart and Alyssa Andrews talking about their friend Javar Harrell. They met through Park West Foundation, a resource for people in foster care. He was like the rest of us in the uh, foster care system who just wanted to basically beat the, st beat the statistics and show everybody how awesome of a person he could be and how well of a life he could have. Javar wouldn't get that chance. He was gunned down Friday while parked in a lot during the Detroit protest sparked by the killing of George Floyd. If the people who shot him had knew who he was, had took some time to talk to him, they would find out what kind of a peacemaker he was. That he wasn't a gang member. He wasn't somebody that was shooting guns and out there just being willy-nilly. He was a good person. A leader, mentoring foster youth, volunteering, providing meals during the holidays, and helping Detroit Police's 12th Precinct build youth relations with a Halloween children's party. His family holding a vigil, all of these lives, and countless more, touched by Javar's kindness and optimism. He was working towards something that was going to be very powerful and very helpful to the world, and, to, and especially to our, our community in the foster care system. And if I could say anything to those people who took his life, Find yourself in. And these are images of people of interest in Javar's death put out by Detroit police. We checked today. Nobody is in custody. So please take a look at your screen. If you know who any of these individuals are, call Detroit police. Reporting live tonight, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. Hopefully somebody knows something. Brian, thank you.